<laughs> you showing all this? Yeah, the side behind collecting that people don't see. Guys, we're on the way to go see Mr. Kiko Collects. We're gonna see his collection room. We're gonna do a live collection tour reaction. I guess so anyway. Anyway, very tired, super excited. Tennessee, baby. All right, guys, so you can see at this point, we have landed in Tennessee. I'm riding with Mr. Kiko Collects. You can see there's a lot of country out there, and there's a lot of city out there as well, which I will show you, but lots of country to start. There you go. Hello. Drago. Drago, say hi. Drago. Whoa. All right, guys, Mr. Kiko Collects is here, along with me. And we're going to Predators and Red Wings. Kiko has a jersey. Yeah. It is, is it Megatron on the back? Megatron. It says Megatron on the back. We're not sure why exactly. Kiko, do you, can you tell the people? Yeah, Transformers was really big um, when this <laughs> came out. Dark of the Moon had just come out, or just came out. So I was really feeling the Megatron hype. So I'm like, well, why not put it on the back of a damn jersey? That's a pretty good idea. And right now we are going to be driving there and this should be pretty exciting. Guys, Tennessee. Not that different than Maryland, Kiko. Not that nah, different. let's not go that way. <laughs> but, it, you know, it's nice, as, it's nice as hell out of here, but I feel very comfortable as here is what I'm saying. I feel well, very that's comfortable good. here. Very comfortable here. Guys, we'll catch up with you at the game. All right, guys. So at this point, after the game, we get out downtown Nashville. You can see it is super vibrant, super colorful. A lot of neon signs out there. It's beautiful. It was so cool to see at nighttime. Very happening for a Tuesday night also. There is clearly no slow time. This is a Tuesday and it's happening. There was live music all around that I'm not gonna show you guys for copyright concerns, but it is beautiful. All right, so at this point in the Tennessee journey, we get to replay toys in Bowling Green, Kentucky. And ladies and gentlemen, they had some wonderful stuff there. See, I don't really have a comic shop near me in Maryland that has anywhere close to this type of selection. You can see here they have Asmus, they have Iron Studios, they have Hot Toys, they have a bunch of other statues, Storm Collectibles, more on that a little bit later. But you can see they got Hellboy, Lando, Short Trooper, Grogu, Batman Forever, the Tusken Raider. They got a Maju case in there with some Hot Toys. And of of course, they have plenty of statues there as well. So shout out to Ginny, the owner at uh, Replay Toys in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Lots of cool stuff to look at. They even had a Loki. I believe this is the Kota Bukia Art FX Loki statue. I've seen this uh, quite often online. Really nice piece actually in person. I didn't end up picking it up. I only had space probably for one, uh, one figure to get back on the plane with me in my backpack, my carry on, my personal item. But yeah, a lot of statues here. I honestly don't even know what half of them are, but really cool selection. They have some, um, you know, premium format and they have pumpkin head as well, from what I was told. 
So yeah, really cool. Bo-Katan there, they had just got in when we got there. The Durasteel Mando and the Blurg from Hot Toys. They had a lot of NECA stuff. They had Last of Us 2 NECA stuff. They had Boba on Throne from Hot Toys. And all these figures were charged basically retail. Whatever you'd find them on Sideshow for, you don't have to pay shipping or um, any of that. You just pay the retail price here. Really fair. They even had a Trump Terminator. So yeah. So yeah, slight tease here. What we may have left with, more on that right now. What's up guys? We just left Replay Toys. Where are we at again? We are in Bowling Green, Kentucky. We are in Bowling Green, Kentucky, and we just left Replay Toys. Shout out. Can we shout out the owner? Yeah, of course. Shout Jenny. out, Jenny. Thank you so much, Jenny. You were amazing. Guys, I'm gonna end this clip. We're gonna show you what we got. Hold on. All right, boys and girls, 3% girls. Here's what we got. Kiko picked up the Batman, Arkham Knight, the, what is the suit? Batman called? Beyond. Batman Beyond suit, that's what it is. His favorite movie, The Last Jedi. Kiko, do you, care to, do you care to speak on this one? Yes, I got this as a joke. Simply as a joke. <laughs> yes, as a joke. Luke Skywalker, Crate Luke. I had this figure at one point. And Kiko was very generous to let me use his rewards and get a 15% off discount because of this on the Storm Collectible Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. Guys, I have been kind of wishy-washy on this figure. Seeing it in person, though, kind of love it. Thank you to Kiko and Jenny and Replay Toys. Anyway. And it's at this point that we transition to another Replay Toys. And this one is awesome as well. You can see here, lots of Funko Pops, smaller figures I'm not as familiar with, those smaller scales. Smaller than six scale, not always something that I, I dive deep into, but lots of Funko Pops there for people. Obviously this, you know, Funko Pops sell pretty easily. They're relatively inexpensive. Lots of comic books, lots of great things at this Replay uh, store here in Tennessee. So again, lots of great options. There's Mr. Kiko himself and they had Hot Toys, King Shark, Iron Man, Rock 5 Suit Up, the Loki Black Widow, they had Chromando, Bo-Katan, they had the Scout Trooper. They had a lot of comic books, again, on the walls and other types of books as well, and statues, Kotobukiya Loki, you can see more statues like the Spider-Man, Dark Side from Iron Studios, a lot of really cool stuff here. Uh, they have the Sideshow, Darth Maul, Fit Scale versus Ahsoka, and they have the Mythos, Darth Vader statue. Really cool, actually. Really cool. All right, so we're transitioning to Totally Rad Toy House, also in Tennessee. They have a really cool entrance with a Mando saying, this is the way, this is the way in the store. And I've been told they're moving location soon, so this is why it doesn't look as complete as Replay. But yeah, they had some hot toys as well. Django, Boba Fett, uh, Dark Trooper, White Vision, the Iron Man Mysterio, Doc Brown, they had Black Widow. Uh, the Zombie Hunter Spider-Man, the comic Iron Man. So lots of stuff to be found there as well. Really cool stuff. More smaller scale stuff here as you can see. Again, comic shops obviously carry these because these can move a little bit easier. They're more inexpensive, but I'm happy that they have the Hot Toys as well. Some really nice display cases too. But again, they are moving to a different location soon. So the offerings were a little bit smaller because they had moved a bunch of the stuff already. So. Now we're transitioning to ICC Toys. They had some Star Wars cards, trading cards here that were pretty cool. I had no idea really what I was looking at, but they were pretty cool to see nonetheless. They had a Darth Sidious Sign Saber by Ian McDermott himself. That was really, really cool. So this store had some nice offerings, I think that were a little bit unique compared to the other ones, a little more vintage stuff, if you will. So it was cool to actually look at some of this and say, wow, I don't get to see any of this stuff in person. So it was actually really cool to, you know, experience it in Tennessee. And yeah, I was actually in the store by myself. Kiko had to take a business call, so he was gone at the moment. They had some lightsabers, really, really cool. And they had a few hot toys there for really good prices. They have the regular Endgame Thanos for I think 300 or 310, Iron Spider for 200, and they had a Bro Thor for 210. Really, really fair prices for a comic shop. Uh, Strange was a little bit higher, 260 for Infinity War, and Vision I think was maybe 200. But then we went to Game Terminal, a free arcade in Tennessee, and you can see Mr. Kiko here leading us in to the next part of the video and into Terminal. Great entrance, Kiko. And you can see here, all the arcade games are free. Pretty crazy, right? Only thing that costs is the food and the drinks, but we didn't get any of that. So Kiko playing arcade here, really, really fun. And yeah, a lot of these games, I had no idea what they were, but they were fun nonetheless to play. Yeah, it was just a blast. Kiko got a little upset that, that he lost, but it was fun, I promise you. Mr. Avengers Pinball Machine. Yeah, that's pretty cool. They had a lot of different pinball machines, and I think with those, maybe the pinball machines you had to pay, but the other games were all free. Pretty crazy to think about. 
They had like a lot of themed pinball machines like Game of Thrones and Avengers. And I'll show you guys in a second, even the Dark Knight, ACDC. They had a lot of really cool stuff there, Sopranos. So this was one of the best parts of the trip experiencing this. Cause again, it was so unique and I have never seen anything like this as far as an arcade is concerned. So yeah. Highly recommend you guys check it out. And of course they had my favorite Mortal Kombat. They had Mortal Kombat 4 uh, through 1 actually. So it was really, really cool. Kiko and I played that. I believe it was a split decision. We, I think I won two and he won two. I was of course Scorpion and Sub-Zero for my turns, but very fun. All right, so this is the Parthenon in Tennessee, and eventually you'll see the Opry Land Hotel. So very exciting sights to see. I'll let you take them in. Enjoy. What's up, guys? It is Will here back again? And Mr. Kiko is here. Oh, hey, what's Mr. Going Kiko on? Collects is here. Yeah, hey, that's me. His, oh, my shirt matches. What do you his know? actual collection that we're in right now, yeah, guys. Look, look, look at this beautiful collection. We're gonna showcase it real quick. Kiko, do you have any fun things to say before we talk about this collection? Um, I don't have space for my vehicles, as we'll talk about. We're, we're figuring that out. As well as there's a little workstation where we're working on certain figures and selling some. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so Kiko. What's going on here? Because we got a lot of Star Wars figures. Yeah, I do have quite a few figures, as you can see, but I'm really proud of some of the way the Star Wars figures have turned out and how they're posed and such. Uh, as you can see, there's Ahsoka, that's a newish release. Um, Jedi Luke is on his way. Should be mm -hmm. here on Monday. But uh, well, there's a nice, you don't one you don't see very often, episode one, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Oh yes, that one down there. Yeah, so that's from Sideshow. Not the greatest in the world, but a good placeholder. Underrated figure, underrated figure, yeah. no doubt about it. Dude, the Rogue One display is looking pretty nice. Death Trooper Specialist? Yeah. A Thrawn the Bust? The Thrawn Bust is cool. Where did that come from? That's um, Diamond Select. Oh. Shout out uh, Replay Toys, by the way, for that one. Replay Toys? I've been to Replay Toys now. Yes, you have. Dude, love the OG trilogy display. Of course, you got the prequels. These actually, uh, Stormtrooper, Han, and, and Luke are really, really cool. Those are dope. Those are pretty amazing. Dude, that two-pack Vader. I think he's probably the best Vader that there is. I think that helmet and that shape, that body structure is probably... I mean, that's the way I've seen him. He looks great. Mando stuff. Clone Wars stuff. Dude, Papa Palpatine on the throne. Obi-Wan. Luke. Yoda on Anakin's base. What if? Dude, what if? It's Star Wars what if. This is amazing. <clears throat> but guys, there's so much you Check out Kiko's collection tour. This is just a brief little overview of kind of what he has. More Game of Thrones stuff. Quarter scale. He's got a Rancor. Quarter scale Mando. Quarter scale Vader. MJ, of course. Because you love Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> so you can get to throw that one in there. Uh, the Ghostbuster Grails. Those are pretty incredible. And uh, yeah, we this was our station. We were messing with some shit. So that's why that's all there. But the Tumblr, which we've been talking about quite extensively. Yeah. yeah over the course of this trip. Will they get one? You never know. Dude, you never know. I'm unpredictable. But yeah, there's so much here, guys. Check out Kiko's full collection tour. There's just kind of a brief overview of his stuff. And uh, he's got a Blurg. I do have a Blurg. And I have a King Shark. He's got a King Shark with the men in black. That's actually pretty perfect. So Shang-Chi, of course, with the Venomized little group. I like the Squid Game card. That's a really cool figure. Don't see a lot of it, but a fun, fun figure. Call Obsidian, super slept on figure, honestly. Kiko, I know you ripped your pants, but. I did, I did, not not my pants, his pants. <laughs> you, ripped, you ripped Mr. Call's pants, but. And Stanley holding the churro. That's pretty dope. And then the end of this, Kiko, we'll just show it real quick. Kiko's statues. This has gotten a little out of control. I didn't expect to have statues, but Dude. damn, that Venom bus is pretty cool. That Venom, that Carnage. That Asajj of Ventress, people love that one. The the best vacuum, you know, that's great. Right. <laughs> the best vacuum. We might as well turn on the proton pack, though, dude, at least, right? Dude, let's turn on the proton pack. You guys ready to bust some ghosts? Oh, 
fancy. Yeah, let's go. Dude, that's amazing. It's Haslab, right? Correct. Yeah. Let's flip the gun on too. Let's go. Love it. Dude, that's super cool. So let's bust some ghosts, buddy. Let's go. Dude, love the turn off sounds, dude. The dude, that Ahsoka premium format. That's great. Um, sorry if this is a little bit shaky, guys. It's you know it's handheld iPhone footage. <laughs> Obi Wan Mythos. That's fifth scale from my recollection. Yeah. Uh, this Malik, which you've sold me on quite extensively, this is a beautiful piece because I have the Revan. I don't have the Malik. Kiko's flexing on me having both. Kiko, tell the people there's nothing wrong with this Darth Vader. This is one of the best Darth Vaders you will get. This is the Sideshow quarter scale Vader. There's nothing wrong with it. He lights up. He got a demanding presence. He's got a great wired cape. And he's better than the Mythos. You've seen the Mythos in person. Yeah, the Mythos I was kind of not as impressed with in yeah. person. This Vader is actually a little bit has sold me it's seeing in the hand. This Revan I have, it's a grail. It's it's amazing. I, I think everything's a grail, though. But Papa Palpatine, Mythos, and uh, Darth Maul. This MJ, dude. Kiko, we talked about this. I was like, yeah, how? Might as well show this, too, right? Dude, how in the hell is this thing going to stand forever? But Well, Michael Jackson stands the test of time. So. <laughs> that, that's actually very fair. So he's amazing, and it doesn't have the clapping like if you make. Yeah, as you can see, our voices go up. So up and down. Up, and... Up. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty dope. Shut All right, up. guys. Well, that's pretty much a brief collection tour. Check out Cle uh, Kiko's full tour. But yeah, happy to see it in person. All right, I want to say thank you so much again to Mr. Kiko Kalax and his wonderful wife, Amy, for being so generous and kind and just awesome to me and letting me stay there and being just awesome all around, including their friends. Guys, this is an experience I never will forget. I love Tennessee. I love Nashville. If you get the chance, I highly recommend you go out there and check it out. It's wonderful, really, really peaceful and awesome and exciting at the same time. So enjoy the rest of the video. Let me know if you'd like to see more content like this, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you so much.